You've seen how list and form let us create scrolling tables of data. But for times when we want to scroll arbitrary data, i.e. just some views we've made by hand, we have to turn to SwiftUI's scroll view. Scroll views can scroll horizontally, vertically, or in both directions. And you can also control if the system should show scroll indicators next to them. Those are the little scroll bars that appear to give users a sense of how big the content is. When we place views inside scroll views, they automatically figure out the size of that content so users can scroll from one edge to the other. As an example, we could create a scrolling list of 100 text views like this. Scroll view, dot vertical, vstack, spacing, 10. For each, 0 to 100. Text, item, dollar zero, dot font, dot title. If you run that back in a simulator, you'll see you can drag the scroll view around freely. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll also see that scroll view treats a safe area just like list and form. Their content goes under the home indicator, but they add some extra padding so the final views are fully visible. You might also notice that it's a bit annoying having to tap directly in the center. It's more common to have the whole area scrollable. To get that behavior, we should make the VStack take up more space while leaving the default center alignment intact like this, dot frame, max width, dot infinity. Now you can tap and drag anywhere on the screen, which is much more user friendly. This all seems really straightforward, and it's true that scroll view is significantly easier than the older UI scroll view we had to use with UIKit. However, there's an important catch you need to be aware of. When we add views to a scroll view, they get created immediately. To demonstrate this, we can create a simple wrapper around a regular text view, like this. Struct, custom text, conforms to view, var text, string, var body, some view, text, text. Then, init, underscore, text, string, print, creating a new custom text, self.text, equals text. Now we can use that inside our for each. I'll put custom text here. The result will look identical, but now when you run the app, you'll see creating a new custom text printed a hundred times in Xcode's log. SwiftUI won't wait until you scroll down to see them, it'll just create them immediately. You can try the same experiment with a list like this. When that code runs, you'll see it acts lazily. It creates instances of custom text only when really needed.